this level. Ready to board the carriage to the oh, embassy? Sorry. Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information you need. Good luck. Forsaken mountain and any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. There's not enough drinking Welcome in the, to the world Thalmor today, and you agree. Your invitation, please. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. Yes, yes. And I'll find myself a drink. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, Madam tell me Asperger, more about I yourself. So what brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the of Arinthia course. Red? I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Quite often, yes. The only thing I enjoy more than luxury is sharing that luxury with those who can appreciate it. But I also enjoy learning the latest gossip and hearing the most intriguing rumors. Of course not. One does not gather the most important men and women of Skyrim, and then serve them cheap ale and stale bread. This is only a taste of the benefits that accrue to those that align themselves with Thalmor interests. One of my main duties is to foster a better understanding between the Aldmeri Dominion and the people of Skyrim. I also oversee the activities of the Thalmor Justicias throughout Skyrim, Although this has been most unfortunately disrupted by the war. As long as the Empire continues to uphold its treaty obligations, my government does not concern itself with the internal politics of Skyrim. Do enjoy yourself. We are not supposed to talk to the guests. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around? You must be new around here. Bad manners to ask such a direct question at one of Ellen Wynn's little soirees. But I have nothing to hide. I'm in from the south on business. And if you want to do business in Tamriel these days, well, you'd better get used to cozying up to the Thalmor, like it or not. My friend, you are very perceptive. I have a powerful thirst that cannot be slaked. And none of the waiters will bring me a drink. Ellen Wynn must have told him to cut me off, that frigid bitch. Afraid I'll cause another scene, I suppose. I need another drink. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. Here you go, sir. Finest Colovian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. 
I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? I don't recall seeing you at one of these before, and I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. Have you learned nothing about me? I have dealings with everyone. Now leave me. I don't want to arouse suspicion by talking to someone that clearly doesn't belong here. Don't mention the guild. In fact, it's better if you don't speak to me at all. This is not the place. Until next time. At I least Ulfric's men are willing to fight for their principles, barbaric as they may be. There are those in the Empire who would wish to evade their obligations to help root out the Talos heresy. Fortunately, those most opposed to the Emperor's wise policy have now branded themselves traitors as well as heretics. I am here to remind the ruling classes of Skyrim that their loyalty to the Emperor requires cooperation with the Thalmor. Until next time. With your eyes and your ears, I Ellen Wen always throws quite a party. I never miss one if I can help it. You might learn much in this chamber. You must be new to Skyrim, or you'd already know who I am. I have a stake in most anything of importance in solitude. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> but not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. Very well, then. There's a likely-looking filly, even if she is an elf. I'm ready for this you party there, to be over. Sorry, girl. What's your name, dear? Of course. Oh, I mean, assuming you don't want me to kill someone for you, no, no, I might have to draw the line no, there. I just wanted to get a better look at you. I like what I see, my dear. And believe me, Goodbye, I don't then. say that to everyone. I'm very discriminating when it comes see to... See that people. disgusting drunk over there? A high-ranking official in the East Empire Company, you? believe it or not. Oh, not at the moment. Maybe later. Until next time. Go far. Yes, sir. What is a fellow? Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our that? mistress. What are you I doing? speak figuratively, of course. Uh, Nothing could be go. more Let's unlikely go. than that Before someone would actually us. want her in their bed. Although, most of you are already in bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively, of course. Fine, fine. Get your hands off me. I'll be a good boy now. Wouldn't want to offend So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. Someone we need to pass through the kitchen. Drink, Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Zavani? 
I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Someone misses me at the party, we're... It's dead. Hmm. Good you luck. See those robes You're on your own now. Morning. Who are they with? More of the Emissary's treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe... eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> well, we'd better get back to our round. Sorry, afraid of that.
Wait, what? I need that money. I earned it. I have my own expenses, you know. Silence. Do not presume, Gissa. You are most useful, but do not presume. We have other informants who are less offensive. But no one else has brought you such valuable information, have they? Etienne, he's talked, hasn't he? He knows where that old man is you're looking for. He told me. Himself. You'll get the rest of your money when we confirm his story, as agreed. So he has talked. I knew it. Everyone talks. Stop, please. I don't know anything else. Don't you think I'd have told you already? Silence. You know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Rolandil will ask the questions. Let's begin again. No, for pity's you know sake. Rules. I've already told you everything. No! Start again. You know the rules, just answer the questions. And where can we find this? Listen up, spy. Man? You're trapped in here, oh, and we I have your accomplice. Said, I don't know. Surrender immediately, I've seen down in the right way. Die. <laughs> Maybe he lives down Never there. Mind. I don't know Silence. Sure. I'm dead already. Move. That will be all Slowly. for now. I must say, I continue to be disappointed in your lack of cooperation. 
I hope next time you will do better. What? What do you want from me? I've already told you everything. He's got to be here Listen, somewhere. Listen, if you let me go, I can take you to Riften, show you where... Silence, prisoner. Problem is, I cannot go through that hatch because I don't have the key. Why aren't you at your never should have? I wonder where did I miss the key then? Start at the beginning, as usual. Listen up, spy. If you persist in this, this wait, and we have your I'll have catching my breath. Surrender immediately. <laughs> or I wouldn't make you die. I, I don't even know anything. Never mind. Silence. I'm dead already. An old man. He lives in Rifton. He could be this Esbon you're looking for, but I don't know. He's old and seemed kind of crazy. <laughs> That's all I know. And He's his got name to be here is somewhere. I don't know his name. Like I've already told you a hundred. Oh. You know the rules. Just answer the questions. And where can we find this name? Oh, like I said, I don't know. I've seen him down in the ratway. <laughs> Maybe he lives down there, but I don't know for sure. That will be all for now. I must say, I continue to be disappointed in your lack of cooperation. I hope next time you will do better. What else do you want from me? I've already told you everything. Listen, if you let me go, I can take you to Rift and show you where... Ah! Oh! Silence, prisoner.
Start at the beginning, as usual. All I have to do is wait till the uh, god. If you persist no, in this wait. stubbornness, I was I'll just have catching my breath. Why wouldn't I tell you again? I, I don't even know anything. There's an old man. He lives in Riften. He could be this Esburn you're looking for, but I don't know. He's old and seemed kind of crazy. <laughs> That's all I know. And his name is... I don't know his name. Listen up, Look, spy. I've already told you You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately. You know the or rules. You both die. Just answer the question. Never mind. Silence. I'm dead. And where can we Move. find this nameless Slowly. Spy? Oh, like I said, I don't know. I've seen him down in the ratway. Maybe he lives down there, but I don't know for sure. That will be all for He's now. He's got to be here. Somewhere. I must say, I continue to be disappointed in your lack of cooperation. I hope next time you will do better. What else do you want from me? I've already told you everything. <laughs> Listen, if you let me go, I can take you to Riften, show you where... Silence, prisoner. Do I have to save that guy? Yes? What did you need? This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with.
see the courtyard again. Yes? What did you need? What are you staring at? You're new around here, so I'll go easy on you. But don't get on my bad side. made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Esbern? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Ask around the Ragged Flagon in the Ratway. It's at least a good starting point. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. The Blades have always guarded and guided the Dragonborn, but we'd forgotten why. This is a local now our purpose is clear. One of the first songs I'm all that's heard. left of the Blades, Ragnar and the you're Ra the Dragonborn. Oh, Together, we're going to stop these dragons Ragnar if we have to put every last one of them back in the ground. And the, did swagger and the Thalmor happened. They've been hunting down every blade they can find for the past 30 years. Thanks to the white gold but concordat, they've been able to operate throughout the empire the with impunity. Matilda, who said, oh, when I was young, our leaders became obsessed with the Thalmor threat. They believed that if and when we found a dragonborn, so we would need to protect him against the Thalmor. Turns out we fatally underestimated the Thalmor. The they smashed us with ease the during the Great War. war. I was one of the few who escaped. The For a long time, all I cared about was staying alive and taking revenge on the Thalmor when I could. But then the dragons returned, and I remembered that the blades used to be dragon slayers, and that we were sworn to protect the dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer of all. Hmm, there's no simple answer to that. Do you want the long version or the short version? They're the rulers of the Aldmeri Dominion, what used to be the imperial provinces of Somerset Isle and Valenwood. The Thalmor take the arrogance of high elves to the extreme. They believe they are the rightful rulers of all of Tamriel. For a century or more, the Thalmor had been picking away at the empire. Valenwood was the first, then the province of elsewhere. But even the Blades didn't see the Great War coming. We underestimated the Thalmor and they destroyed us. Yes? What did you need? 
You need Dragonborn. Drink to our youth and today's come and gone For the age of oppression is now nearly done We'll drive out the empire from this land that we own With our blood and our steel we will take back our home All hail to Ulfric, you yes. are the Yes, what did you need? I can't wait In to see the courtyard again honor, we drink and... Yes? What did you need? Fuck.
retrieve the horn of Jorgen Wilco. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Yes? What did you need? 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 speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeard. so much already, Dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. But there are many words of power in Skyrim carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here we can feel the thoom resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to search. I have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Dragons of all, there is no dip in myth for most people, but for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost with. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition. The way of the voice was born. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinneris at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, 
Kinnereth's domain and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. We spoke the traditional words of greeting to a dragonborn who has accepted our guidance. The same words were used to greet the young Talos when he came to High Hrothgar before he became the Emperor Tiber Septim. Ah, I sometimes forget you are not versed in the dragon tongue as we are. This is a rough translation. Long has the storm crown languished, with no worthy brow to sit upon. By our breath we bestow it now to you, in the name of Kain, in the name of Shore, and in the name of Atmora of old. You are Ismir now, the dragon of the north. Hearken to it. Sky above, voice within. Yes. What did you... 